Have you ever been stuck, unable to edit an Excel worksheet because it asks you for a password that you don't know? And even if you've not, it's critical to know what to do when this happens because at some point it will wreck your productivity. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to remove the password protection on a worksheet and I'll show you the secret that lets you supercharge this hack to unprotect dozens of worksheets at once. All you need for this first part is a simple text editor. Here's an Excel workbook with three worksheets. I'll add password protection to the first sheet by clicking on review, then protect sheet, and I'll enter 123 as a password, click OK, then re-enter that password, 123, click OK. Then when I want to edit, say I want to change this to a formula equals, it says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter a password. Click OK. Now, if I don't have the password, I can't unprotect the sheet. And that means I can't make any edits. Now, it could be that you set the password yourself and forgot it. Or it could be that someone else set the password, but they left the company last year. Either way, it's a massive headache. To get around this, make a copy of the Excel file. So I'll press Control C and Control V. Press F2 to rename the copy. We'll add unlock and change the extension from XLSX to zip to turn it into a compressed archive file. It's asking if we're sure we want to change the extension because the file might become unusable. So we're sure and let's click on yes. Now I'll double click the zip file to open it. Navigate to the Excel folder, then to the worksheets folder. Sheet one is the one we want to unprotect. So let's drag this to the desktop and that creates a copy now we right click on this and we open with Notepad. There's a lot of text here, but don't worry about how complicated it looks. Just press Control F for find and search for this phrase. So what we're looking for is open angle bracket sheet protection, and then you hit enter and it will highlight the position of sheet protection. Now what we've got to do is select from that open angle bracket all the way to the next close angle bracket. And that's the one in this case is just before page margins. Once we've got that selected and be careful selecting just this bit, we can press delete. Now we'll go to file, save it, and we can close notepad. We need to delete the original sheet one.xml from the worksheets folder. So let's right click on that and click on delete. Click yes. And then we copy the modified XML, which is here, to sheet1.xml back into this folder. Next, we navigate back to the folder with the original zip file. So in this case here, we find the zip file and rename it. So press F2. We want to change the extension back to .xlsx. So I'm going to get rid of the zip and change it to .xlsx and hit enter. Again, it's asking us if we change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. So now you see it's turned from a zip file back to an Excel file. Now we open the Excel file and we can test that the password protection is gone by clicking in a cell and typing in a formula equals is formula. And from there, we can see that the password protection has gone. I've just shown you how to unlock a single worksheet manually, which is like unlocking a car door with an old fashioned key. Imagine how long it would take to unlock 100 worksheets using a text editor. But what if you could unlock every sheet in your workbook at the same time, like unlocking all of them with a remote key fob? You could unlock 100 sheets with one press. Let me show you how. Here's another workbook. It has 100 sheets and all of them are password protected. I'll try to edit this cell. It gives me the same warning message as before. So we click on OK. Then we're going to close this workbook. I'll open this cell with a blank workbook. Next, I'm going to go to a custom menu. Click here. I'm going to click on this button, which is called Remove Excel Protection. 
This runs a special Excel VBA macro that asks me to select the file to remove protection from. So I'll select the 100 sheets workbook, click OK. Then it goes through every worksheet and removes the password protection from all 100 worksheets. It even removes the workbook modify password. So now we get this message, which says the workbook and worksheet protection passwords have been removed. We'll click OK, then head back to Windows Explorer. We can see it's created this copy here with a date and timestamp. Let's open the copy and we can try editing this cell. You can see the password protection has gone. Now you've seen how the VBA method works, but you need to know how to install it on your own copy of Excel to use it. Don't stay in the dark. Watch this video next to learn the ins and outs of the VBA code so you can feel the power that comes when you automate Excel.